Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, on this video, we're going to be talking about workflow automation. Okay, now this is something that everyone wants to use, but you have to be super careful because it can make you lazy. Okay, and it can get you in, in sticky situations if you're not using it correctly. So let me explain. Now, the reason I called this video CRM workflow automation because you can automate a lot of the business using virtual assistants and team members and things like that but when you actually want the system to do it for you which i know a lot of you want that okay it can be great and it can work against you now here's why there's nothing worse than actually things going off on automation without you realizing what's happening okay maybe you've just got off off the phone with dave at 123 main street and then you have an automation that you push out that says Hey, Dave, are you interested in selling 123 Main Street? It doesn't actually make sense, right? So it can get you in them situations. Also, you have to be very careful with the DNC people. If they have told you to stop texting, to stop calling, you need to make sure that you change that status. Otherwise, you are continuing to text or continuing to email when they've asked you to stay uh, to when they've asked you to stop now i don't say that to freak anyone out you just have to pay attention to what is going out and where so what i'm going to do on this i'm going to share my screen right now we're going to dive into freedom soft on the crms that i use i'm going to show you how to put the automation on i'm going to show you how to edit it and create your own um and uh yeah it's going to be awesome so let's go ahead and do that before we do if you're interested in getting freedom soft you can go to freedomsoft.com slash gavin you're going to be able to get all of my contracts, my workflows, uh, documents, everything included in that. I just have kind of a signature edition. If you're already using a CRM, don't worry about it. If you've already got FreedomSoft, don't worry about it. But if you want, like I said, head over to freedomsoft.com slash Gavin and check it out. Right, let me share my screen here and let me show you what we have going on. Let me move a couple of things around. Here we go. All right, so you should be able to see my screen here. Uh, this is Freedom Soft. So when you get in here, you're gonna see your name uh, at the top of your account. Again, freedomsoft.com slash Gavin if you need it. You're gonna go then to settings. The next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to workflow automation, and then you can create a new workflow or you can edit an existing workflow. Now, let me show you. I'm just going to edit one of my example workflows here. Now, what you're going to see is you're going to see the actual statuses, okay? And you can add these. And then underneath, you're going to see some of them have action items and some of them don't, okay? And this is what an automation does. So when you change the status to cold follow-up, these action items happen, okay? So in day one, it's going to say this. Now, when you're looking at this, it says, hi, hey, hello, hey there. OK, these are called spin offs. Right. So meaning that your deliverability will be better because it's going to keep changing these words. to instead of just having one message, it can actually turn into one, two, three, four. OK, and you'll have different spin offs throughout like here, buying and purchasing. We uh, sorry, I'm or we are right. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi there. <laughs> Hello there. All of these things they will do in different orders, me slash us. They will send their messages and actually spin them around. So instead of having one, you might have 25 different ways to send one text message. Again, will help that deliverability. Now, what's going to happen when I change that status? These are the trigger items in one day, eight days, 38 days, 68 days, 128 days. These are the things that are going to happen. Now, if um, we then look at, let's just say you're going to go on the appointment, all right? What are we going to do when we select the appointment? It's going to stop follow-up, remove all future emails and text follow-ups. Now, this is really important because, again, like I explained at the start of this video, there's nothing worse than you going to do an action item and then all of a sudden it's sending a text or email on your behalf. It makes you look like you don't know what you're doing, okay? Okay. And this is super easy for you to edit. If you send a contract, it's going to stop the message. Okay. If you call it a dead lead down here, right, there's two action items. It's going to stop all future emails and follow up. But guess what? In 180 days, it's going to send another text and check back in with them. 
okay so you can you can look at these and understand that it's always good to come in here and read through them so you know exactly what it's going to do plus it's easy to actually create your own so if you want to create one for new you just click on this and you can add a task every time a new lead comes in it can create a task for you to make a phone call you can add a text message you can add an email you can copy to a group move to a group okay you can stop the follow-up start the follow-up whatever it is you can actually you just click in here and then all of a sudden you bring and drop down whatever you want okay you start typing it in you can drop down you know primary contact first name and then it will fill in and you can continue and once you've done that you can add this action item you can remove them from the dnc and once you've hit action add action it will just populate as the first action there and then you go on also if there's some on here already you can uh select this arrow here so it drops down and then you can actually edit this message if you want or that message just by hitting it, it hitting the edit button you can change anything update the action and then it will be done you've got the days here as well that you can change so that's the first thing that i recommend again that's going into settings under your name workflow automation and then you can edit or create a workflow from scratch as well and this is great you just put the name of it in and then you add the status first so new you go and select what status you want okay and you can actually add a new one and then you start your action items okay so that's how you're going to do that now once you've done that you're then going to go over to your campaigns let's just say this one here for florida and that's where when i come in here and open this campaign up you can go to workflow automation and then you go and select the work the automation that you want on if you want one and you select you could have 50 of them you can have bio workflow automations you can have you know dead lead ones you can create anything that you want and then you can only have we well, actually you can have two you can have more than one per campaign but you can take them all off so you don't need anything or you can select it and now when you when you're in this lead as a new lead okay and i come in here to Anne, and i select from new and here's my workflow and i do cold follow-up as soon as i hit cold follow-up and change that status guess what's going to happen the workflow automation of cold let's see the workflow automation of cold follow-up boom i've selected that now all of a sudden this is going to start happening and then you're just going to okay it on every single day there's going to be a yellow banner that pops up across the screen here to send your automation and here's the thing you're not going to check it out you're not going to look at it all right um i, I understand that all right so uh so that's that's why you just got to be paying paying a little bit of attention making sure if you've already spoken to that seller and it's key to change the status i did a, a video before here let me come back so you can see me here okay i did a video before on this about the three things okay uh changing the status number one updating the notes and creating a task now when you change that status with the workflow automation will then kick in as long as you've tagged it to the campaign and then it's set to do its job but one thing that i need you to remember is i want you to understand what the workflow is doing and you don't have to go in great detail but understand has uh under contract got a workflow because guess what if you change it under contract and it's got a workflow under there they're the things that's going to trigger to happen so you just need to understand it takes a few minutes just to go through as you can see you probably notice I only have action on the colder things, right? I only have the action items on the colder things. So when it goes to under contract, making offer, all these things, it was stopping the automation because you don't want to get caught out, just like we talked about at the start of this video. All right. Again, if it is a hot lead, you need to be working that personalized text messages, personalized contact from you or your acquisition manager. Do not allow or rely on the system. And remember, don't get lazy with this because we do always need that personal touch to get the contract signed, which is really, really important. Okay, so hey, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to the channel. We've got more videos to come uh, that are hopefully going to help you in your investing journey. Uh, so make sure you do them things. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.